Gemstones versus Rudraksh. Most often, my clients ask me, what would I prefer to recommend to them? Stay tuned to know what I recommend. This is Mekla here from Pooja.in. Namaste, this is Mekla here from Pooja.in. My clients are always ask me, Mekla, would, do you recommend that I wear a Rudraksh or do I wear a gemstone? And then they have some fascination for some gemstones and they would say like, you know, can I wear a diamond? Can I wear a ruby or a yellow sapphire and, you know, things like that. And they say that, you know, I consulted this astrologer and he said so. So I've been wearing it. And when they come to me, they want to know, they want to validate whether um, wearing that particular gemstone is good for them or not. And... Uh, what this is what I recommend. Um, gemstone comes from Lord Vishnu from the Kshira Sagara. That's the origin of gemstones. And Rudraksh comes from Ishwara, his tears, Lord Shiva's tears. So there is no comparison like gemstone versus Rudraksh. There is nothing like this is better than that. But always remember that you know you should look at how your planetary positions are before wearing any of them. So uh, first things first, whether it's a gemstone or a Rudraksh. Both of them can be worn by all genders, male or female. Second thing is that um, people always say that uh, gemstone is something which will never, uh, you know, it's it's got a very long life and it doesn't have certain purity re related restrictions. So uh, whether you eat non-rich or you drink alcohol, you, you can just feel free and continue to wear what you're wearing. Uh, so they want me to tell them whether uh, that's correct or, you know, they, they should make some modifications to get better results of wearing the gemstone. Second thing they want to know is uh, can women wear Rudraksh because uh, there are certain times during the month where they may not really uh, be considered pure and so they should wear or not so then that's another question. So I'm just putting in all questions together and I'll go on answering them one by one. Another question they would uh, ask me is uh, my Shukra is weak so can I wear a gemstone or uh, they would say that um, uh, wearing a Rudraksh, can I, can I wear Rudraksh and um, not have bath and still wear it because a gemstone is something where I can wear whether I have had my bath or not, irrespective of that. I'm going to answer all these questions in this video. Stay tuned. Both gemstones and Rudraksh have certain reference texts from the scriptures which you should always follow. So, for example, the gemstones, whenever you want to wear a gemstone, you want a guide which will tell you which gemstone is good and how it should be worn and things like that, you should always refer to the Ratna Shastra. At least that is what I ref refer and recommend. And when it comes to wearing a Rudraksh, there is a holy text called Jabalopanishad which talks about the different Rudrakshas, what are the kinds of Rudrakshas you can wear and uh, what Mukhi suits you better and how should it be activated, how should you maintain the sanctity of the Rudraksh, everything is stated in the scripture. So if you would ask me, I would always prefer to recommend a Rudraksh to you over a gemstone although you may have watched me wearing gemstones in different videos and uh, I would I love them too it's just that you know when you wear it you want to know which planetary position you're boosting and how is that planet positioned in your horoscope most often what happens is that some astrologers have a tendency to recommend gemstones of planets which are very weak in your chart for example, if your Shukra is niche or debilitated, you should really think 100 times before wearing a diamond, especially when it's open on the other end. So when you set a diamond into a jewelry, if it's closed, it's fine because the reflection of the light does not touch your skin and it doesn't really have a negative impact. However, if you want to wear a, um, a diamond and your Shukra is weak and you keep it open, it makes it worse. You're not empowering it. So my Guru always says, that you, it's as good as giving a demon like a planet who's not favorable to you. You, you know, you give a demon an ayud or a weapon, he, he becomes more demonic. It's like that. So if your shukra is weak and, you, and then you wear more of diamonds and things like that, you are making the person who's not working for you to become more and more lazy, more and more malefic, more and more debilitated. So that is the kind of impact it can have. Uh, always wear rudraksh for such planets who are very weak in your chart. Now, if you want to wear a uh, gemstone, I know I really want to wear a gemstone. I feel like wearing a Rudraksh is very saintly and, you know, people will think 
what what is she she's become a saint what is he he's become a saint or what what like you know like a rishi uh, wearing rudraksh all the time and things like that well uh, if that is the case if you want to wear a gemstone wear stones of planets which are very strongly positioned in your chart and always wear um, rec i would recommend that is how i work i i would recommend your lagna lords um, stone or your panchamadipati the fifth house lord stone or the ninth house lord stone so they are the safest provided they are well positioned they are not uh, malefic in any way whatsoever and they are strong so then they become stronger and then they empower you that is how the gemstone works so the psychology of wearing a gemstone is totally different from the psychology behind wearing a rudraksh now rudraksh is something which is universal why would i say that is because there is absolutely no side effects i have not heard of a single person in my life who has said i wore a rudraksh and something really wrong happened whereas i've heard many people say i wore a blue sapphire and things became worse i wore a cat's eye and things were like really unbelievable i met with an accident and somebody passed away and, and i lost 1 crore in one week i've heard all these kind of stories and this is all because gemstones have a certain negative impact if at all the planet is not favorable for your lagna lord or if he is not favorably positioned in your chart definitely it is likely to have a negative impact and especially if you are very subtle then you'll have to be all the more careful because the moment there is a slight change in your life the way things are going then automatically you can sense it you know you fall sick or some negative energy or some fights in the family sudden loss of money or a theft or things like that but the risk is huge If you ask me, the risk is very huge. Uh, whereas you wear a rudraksh, there's no risk at all. There's only benefit. So it's like because Lord Shiva is like Arak, and what he does is, you wear his amsh or rudraksh. You rudraksh, you're tuned to him. So when you're tuned to him, uh, what exactly happens is that uh, he makes sure the negative energy generated by the planet. being positioned in a malefic way goes away he destroys that he destructs that he is laya karak laya means what to neutralize the negative impact so that is what he is going to do which is why you never have a negative impact if you ask me you know i myself have been wearing rudraksh for many years now i think uh, maybe around 2008 or 9 i started wearing rudraksh and uh, since then there's no looking back at all and i wear good quality certified rudrakshas and and i do have good relationship with uh, a few dealers a couple of them who really a uh, market or sell very good quality beads and they are all tested laboratory tested beads and uh, they are so authentic that you know you wear it you know it and what we do for my clients is that uh, you know at the moment a client of mine would say that they want to go for a rudraksh through me then i would uh, procure them the beads from the dealer and then i would um, get it activated through a rudrabhishek and then in a shiva temple and then give it to them so that way the rudraksh is further energized and connected to lord shiva the connection is established and then then when you wear it it's it's so wonderful that you know you start seeing amazing results whereas uh, if you see that in many of my earlier videos i've worn many uh, gemstones i've worn a, a coral i've worn a ruby i've worn yellow sapphire and occasionally i do wear diamonds but uh, diamond is more like a jewelry not not more like a, a therapy but uh, coral yes uh, ruby yes and uh, yellow sapphire i wore all these three and when i wear these three um, i wear it seeing how my dasha is going on what antar dasha is going on uh, and you know because i'm wearing it how am i feeling uh is it empowering me or really it's pulling me back for example when the mangal dasha is going on i realized that wearing a coral is making me more aggressive more uh maybe anguish certain amount of anguish was coming out and lot of aggression and more of enthusiasm i mean much more than what is necessary so then i said okay i think it's time for me to remove this and so on i removed it and during the planetary transits also i i just keep observing like if the guru is favorable i wear it to make him more favorable and if the guru is weak the transit is not favorable for me then i i remove it for a year so like this i do experiment and uh, and uh, you know try to understand and feel the impact myself so why do i say experiment because each person is different see for example a medicine like i say a paracetamol we know the thumb rule how the paracetamol works and you know it 
it removes pain and uh, subsides fever and things like that all of us know that but uh, how much paracetamol is required for a person uh, whether it works the same way for me and also a 60 year old man or a woman so those are the things that we need to uh, understand and only with time we understand for example i go on taking paracetamol regularly then i may get immune to it and it may not really work for me and then i might have to go for something higher than that so that is what i'm trying to tell you even gemstones are like that or a rudraksh is like that when you start wearing it you start feeling the difference and you know how to go about it whether you want to continue wearing it for some time or you want to uh, just let it be uh, are you getting too used to it you're not feeling any change or you feel you're, you're seeing a drastic change and you don't want something like that so all these things can be ascertained with uh, both gemstone and a rudraksh however my recommendation is always first for rudraksh because it's very very safe if you ask me about Rudraksh, I've had very funny instances of wearing a Rudraksh and how people perceive it. But don't worry, you'll get used to it. And uh, what is more important is how you feel after wearing it. How much it has changed you after wearing it. That is very important. Like I still remember once uh, I had to apply for my driver's license um, and uh, I'd gone to uh, get, like the procedure is you go for a learner's license and then you go for a uh, driver's license. right? So in the uh, learner's license, when I gave a test, uh, I had given my name as Mekla V. Joyce and uh, so funny because I was wearing a Rudraksh that day I don't know what was running in the mind of the person who was making a note uh, in the driver driving school uh, so she, she wrote Mekla Rishi Joyce and I didn't even realize that she has written that and I didn't bother checking and everything was done and I got a copy of my learner's license and that day uh, my, my father checked and he said what is this and uh, your name is Mekla V. Joyce and they've written it as Mekla Rishi Joyce. Then I realized that maybe because I wore a Rudraksh something was going on in their mind or uh, like I don't know what exactly because I can't get into their mind so and that is why uh, probably uh, she wrote that Mekla Rishi Joyce. So uh, such funny instances I've had and I've had people that uh, when you when, when I walk into a, a place a public place with a Rudraksh you know people do stare and um, uh, sometimes they give more reverence and things like that but um, I think all these things should not matter because you're wearing it to actually um, strengthen your aura much more to attract good things in life so uh, that way Rudraksh is very safe no matter what dasha you're undergoing no matter how the planetary transits are uh, you just don't have to worry at all the Rudraksh is very safe and it will really help you but one thing is definitely good genuine beads are expensive but they're worth it uh, for example uh, like I want to show you one mala that I have it's a very precious mala which my guru um, blessed me and uh, gave it to me for my sadhana because uh, my guru felt that I'm genuinely uh, doing my sadhana as per his divine guidance. He said, I'll give you a very uh, lovely uh, mala called Siddha Mala. You wear that and then you do your mantra japa and sadhana. And then you see how much the impact of the mantra will be on you. And you'll start realizing very soon that the mantra is responding. Here is the mala I want to show you. Just hold on. See this one, this is the mala and such a beautiful mala when I wear it, like I've worn it so many times and I, at one point of time I used to wear it every single day and then now I have just reserved it for special sadhanas alone uh, and, and I see wonderful results. Like in, again, I'm just trying to feel the uh, you know impact of it when I wear it every day, how it is and how it is when I wear it uh, on special occasions and uh, you know when I went to Kailas Manasarovar Yatra there I took all this mala and my other mala also you may have seen this one see this this I wear most of the times regular wear because it's not heavy and it has some uh, beads which are more uh, towards strengthening my planets in the horoscope uh, so this this is something that I wear every day so I had taken all these malas to Kailas Manasarovar I took a when I took a dip I also made sure that I dipped all these there and then we performed uh, puja at the Pashupatina temple also. So uh, it's something really very holy and divine. And uh, um, even if you want to gift somebody, I think it's a very precious gift. And you know, one more thing I want to tell you when it comes to Rudraksh is, I just can't stop praising the, um, the beauty of Rudraksh is something like, it's a legacy. 
like you wear it you give it to your next generation and um, all they need to do is just energize it and wear it so there is no conflict in karma and things like that so because there's no negativity retained in that so that is the best part of the rudraksha and uh, whereas the gemstone once you wear it uh, you can't give it to somebody just to say like you can also wear it, it was mine no there is no value whereas here the value goes on increasing the older it is the better because the beads are also uh, been there for so long they've been propitiated for so long and uh, you know once in a while i always recommend that any every six months once or at least a year once you get it energized in a shiva mandir in fact whenever i go to varnasi kashi i make sure i take all my radraksh dip it in the ganges then go uh, to the vishunaji mandir and place it on the shivaling there Uh, and offer my prayers do the basma abhishek and then quickly everything in one split second because there's no time there so we do that and then we go to atma vireshwar temple we do the same thing there i go to 100 shivling mandirs there because there are so many temples uh, brihaspateshwar is there ashwini kumareshwar is there uh, all the 33000 crore forms of divinity uh, and all in the form of shivling they are all there in varanasi in kashi so when i go i always make sure that this these uh, rudraksha beads touch each and every shivling and and just absorb the vibrations and then i wear it and it's beautiful so every time it's like more energy more enthusiasm more more grace you can feel it flowing into you and your the life around you transforming so that's one very important uh, experience i wanted to share in fact when i went to kailas manasarovar uh, my guru also said that you know when you come back and just make sure that you have enough of rudraksha beads to give everyone so uh, very thoughtfully we i looked at uh, all my friends charts and uh, my guru bandhava's charts and then according to what uh, planets uh, they needed a boost of uh, we chose those kind of uh, rudraksha beads and we gave them and they were all energized in kailas manasarovar and then they were given by my guru only to them so it was a wonderful uh, experience for them which they can keep it uh, all their life they can even give it to their children and grandchildren and it's something that they can treasure it's like much more than a treasure i can say it's absolutely invaluable but you have to maintain some sanctity you can't eat non veg when you wear that you know when you give respect it performs better and you uh, you can't drink alcohol when you um definitely you cannot do both of the things and it is also recommended that you can remove it if possible if you can safeguard it and keep it in a safe place uh, before using the washroom also or the restroom you keep it in a handbag and then you uh, go that is also recommended but for some practical purposes if you are not able to follow that it's still okay because you can always get it energized again going to a temple and start wearing it uh and uh, please avoid wearing it during your monthly mm. cycles for ladies but other than that there's no restriction and uh, before sleeping before sleeping you can just remove it and keep it whereas gemstones i think people continue to wear whether they are awake or asleep so uh, that is one thing that i i can say so uh, i feel rudraksha is something which can transform your life it can transform your the life of people around you so if you want to gift people anything it's a very good gifting option only thing is that people may think in the beginning because they are not used to the culture they may say ye kya rudraksh de diya what is this uh, you know uh, am i a saint or what why did she give me this or why did he give me initially they'll have that but when they actually start using it or they keep it in their puja room or something they may do that uh, they may be hesitant to wear it initially but when they actually keep it there they feel the grace then they'll automatically want to be wearing it also sometime so uh you just leave it to them but just be open to it see if you want some change you be open to it and then definitely you will see very good results with rudraksha so there is no thumb rule uh, when when it says gemstone or rudraksha it can be both but what suits you is very important because the way you are the way your chart is need not be necessary that the same thing will apply to the other person's chart your family member's chart your own son or daughter's chart so what i want to tell you is let's go case to case um and you can take up a consultation with me and i can have a look at your chart and tell you whether a gemstone is better for you or a puja is good or a rudraksha is best or a combination of these i will tell you everything and then you can do according to your financial comfort mental comfort and ease because uh, finally you are the one who has to wear it and move around some people are even thinking you know why should i wear gemstones people will see are koi astrologer ke paas gayi hai ye jewelry pehen rahi hai gemstones pehen rahi hai 
maybe she's super superstitious or yeah oh, you know people think like that i mean just don't worry about them you know why because they are not the ones who are going to uh, solve your problems they are not the ones who are going to empower you they are not the ones who are going to actually uh, make you fight the situation or um, overcome the situation it is you yourself and finally these things are aids which will help you in overcoming a situation which is not conducive for you so don't worry about what people think if something is empowering just wear it in fact when you uh, go back to the um, earlier days you may have seen that kings have always worn a lot of gemstones and things like that because um, uh, somewhere you know they are already in, they are having raja yoga because that's why they are kings you know rajas so uh, when they wear these stones they will enhance their state of being a raja so they would wear everything like all kinds of ornaments jewelry and gold attracts gold by the way so gold and uh, um, gemstones and everything whereas if you see the saints have always been on the safer side they have always worn rudraksh for their uh, jewelry in their arms in the around their neck uh, on their hair everywhere so um, because they are always tuned to divinity and they continue to be like that so a king may always have a problem or may not have a problem but his luxuries don't really change because he's already got certain good positions of uh, planets in his chart and he's enhancing it further with the gemstones whereas um, a sadhu or a saint or a rishi would always wear it because his nature was to make sure that uh, he's continuously tuned to divinity and secondly he is really not uh, um, facing any situations or problems as such day to day uh, mundane things there is nothing bothering him so he is just continuing with his activities and he is wearing these things so he is feeling the energy when he wants god is there so that is the power he has even a raja will consult a rishi for solving his uh, problems related to his kingdom so that is the beauty of rudraksh and uh, in fact um, i had even gone to the extent of buying some loose beads small small himalayan beads and indonesian beads and uh, i had my friend uh, radha actually she was so sweet of her she made beautiful earrings of mine uh, with like like almost like grapes they were like long hanging maybe this long uh, so she made those and really thick bunch of rudrakshas and i was once walking in uh, banaras varanasi and uh, we were near uh, sangtama mandir we were just walking and this person i don't know him at all he just walked in uh, he was also walking behind me i think so yeah he was walking behind me so he he just walked behind me and he said oh, very lovely pair of earrings he just commented bahut sundar hai kahan se banwaya and all that so uh, then i told my friend uh, she made it then he said it's very beautiful uh, uh, will you give it to me i said definitely and i just removed and gave it to him you know the thing is um, <laughs> my guru always tells you don't know how divinity works and from where god may come and test you and and i was really not obsessed with these earrings but i just loved them so much that i would wear it very often so um, when somebody asks you something that you really like you would want to give right that is the usual mentality but my guru has always said god will come and test you if you are attached too much to something god may come and ask you for that and then how you respond at that situation is a test for you and especially in holy places never take chances so i would never like even if somebody would come and beg i don't think too much i what if it's god coming in that form so i just give so uh, that way that man the way he asked me i said uh, i'm not going to take a chance at all if he wants it he's going to have it and i just on the road removed it and just gave it to him and it was a beautiful experience he was really i mean his expression was like so happy and smiling and he said are you sure thank you so much and he just gracefully accepted it and he moved on so that way we see that uh, god comes i always believe that god comes in different forms and tries to test you and things like that it's not like um, anything else i mean you can always make another pair of earring but if you want god to come and ask you again i'm not so sure whether he will come when you want him to come so um, i that was my feeling that yeah maybe it's uh, shiva or his ganas rudra ganas who came and asked and i just gave it so it was a wonderful experience with the rudraksh and i've had numerous experiences of doing different mantra sadhanas and every time i do i feel so peaceful the concentration is 
almost instantaneous and uh, no matter how your day has been how much chaos it has been how many people you've attended to and whatever you have done it does, really doesn't matter when you wear a rudraksha you're always in the state of equipoise and calm and very nice but just that you have to maintain the sanctity or the purity of it and if you can't for some reason on a particular day don't wear it but don't be guilty and don't feel like oh i'm not worn it something bad is going to happen nothing like that is going to happen you wear it things can get better that's all i can say so people say wearing rudraksh can prevent accidents and yes i have seen that as well especially when you wear a 8 mukhi or 11 mukhi it really protects you in many ways and um, uh, 14 mukhi is very good for all the real estate deals and land related issues and also to strengthen your shani seven mukhi is very good mahalakshmi again is seven mukhi so like this i can go on but i think you know you have enough on google so you just google you can get lot of information on which mukhi is what and things like that i won't come to that but i just want to tell you that yeah both are good gemstone is also good rudraksh is also good but my experience with rudraksh is much more on the positive front than that of a gemstone but definitely there are people who have said i wore a blue sapphire and i am also got better so we can't say anything i would always look at each person's chart and then only decide which is good for you that is what i i would like to conclude and uh, both are good let's see what your horoscope says and then you know be ready for a recommendation thank you so much namaste mm-hmm.